This all segues beautifully into our Tools to Live By segment presented by Vayer Watches. Thank you, Vayer. I know that's an enticing intro, so I won't keep you waiting for long. But uh, Vayer Watches is V-A-E-R, and it's vayerwatches.com slash surf splendor to save 15% on your beautiful American-made uh, waterproof guaranteed timepiece that I have right here for you. So check them out for the, for the holiday season. Tools to live by gents. I have the most appropriate question for the segment, considering the segment's sponsor. I'd like to start with a show of gratitude and thanks. I'm in my late, tw- I'm a late twenties male dating in Los Angeles. And much of the advice and general philosophy that you guys espouse on the, on the show has guided me through the perils of modern the modern dating scene. And thus, it has positioned me for today's story, which I give back to you in an act of reciprocity. Picture it, Manhattan Beach, last month. I met a girl on Hinge. One of her profile pics was of her surfing El Porto. That made for an easy path of communication. We went on a date shortly thereafter. She was great, totally pretty, successful, fit. We hit it off. We had a couple of dates. I don't know if this ends in marriage or not, or if I should be, or if one should be able to know that within the first couple of dates, but I wanted to know her more. So on date three, we ended up back at her place. She and I both have the same intention immediately upon entering the apartment, kissing while standing. She leads me to the bedroom. Her clothes come off rather quickly, all except for one item, her watch. Wearing only her watch, she kisses me, holds the back of my head and neck, and pulls me down to the bed with her, totally nude except for the watch. This isn't a lithe, sleek watch, mind you. It's bulky, silicone-strapped health tracker of some sort. Not a required medical device, but just for running or biking or hiking or something. Even on the date, it seemed a little mismatched to her look and her outfit, More function than fashion, no doubt, but now it is completely out of place. Now, I recognize that this is the ultimate looking of a gift horse in the mouth. Most (laughs) listeners are probably aghast that I even noticed a watch on a naked and permissive woman. And I'd like the record to reflect that I kept my priorities in focus, never revealed this inner yellow flag. In fact, I didn't even much think about it in the moment other than to take a mental note. It was the next morning where I thought, hmm, that's odd to wear a watch while naked and even odder to wear it during sex. And then on my drive home that morning, lo and behold, the new episode of The Grit dropped. And I thought surely these guys would have a perfect, would be the perfect sounding board for this particular and peculiar encounter. So I don't know if I need to phrase this as a question and it's not exactly a turnoff for me, but is there any reasonable way to have a dialogue about this oddity with the girl, even jokingly, or perhaps more importantly, is it an indicator of her terrible sense of style and something that I need to consider for the future of our relationship? Or perhaps most important of all, is this entire dialogue in my head reflective of my own illness and a sign that I need to finally visit betterhelp.com slash surf? Dating in LA is weird. Thanks for the work. Anonymous. Anonymous, thank you so much. You've come to the right place. You've come to a place to get both the correct read on this and advice of what to do next. Right, David Lee Scales? I think so. So I'm going to say, if this watch was in fact a health tracker, had to have been, right? He mentioned that. Like, uh, it's not, it wasn't a big Casio or a like a G-Shock, right? I'm envisioning like a Garmin style. Yes. Yes. Tracker. That's what. And so then I would imagine she is uh, tracking her health, her vitals during uh, intercourse. I think so. Okay. So if she's tracking her vitals during sex, then that's kind of cool ish. Except I have a problem with the health watch whole thing in general. And I think it's a red flag uh, doesn't have to be a ender, but I think you should have a conversation with her. If this is a health tracker about really getting leaning into why, why are you doing this? Right. Yeah. Uh, we had our whoops. Did you do whoop with me? We did our, of whoop, course. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and if whoop ever wants to sponsor again and prove me wrong, I'd be happy for it. If in fact, any health band thing or a ring, any of them 
want to come on and sponsor the show and show me what I'm missing, then I welcome it with open arms. Until then, I think people are fools for doing this. Not only are you giving your data, your biometric data, totally free to people who get, or companies that get hacked all the time, there's no protection here, right? What do you need to know so bad about your vitals? If it's a health thing, if you are, you know, diabetic, if you are, uh, you know, need to take something, you know, whatever, to track your blood sugar. I just, diabetic is the only thing I could think that would need this, but <laughs> can imagine other, other health ailments where, where you'd really need to be on your heart, you know, your blood pressure and all this kind of stuff. Outside of that, who let it be a mystery. Let it just be like people thinking I'm, I'm getting the best sleep of my life because no, you're not. You are absolutely, yeah. it's not helping you sleep. N none of this information is helping you do anything. If it's gamified, that's the only thing that Whoop helped me do, I feel, is yeah. the, the forced, the fact that it was going to be public, I thought I better do something active, yeah. physical, and I can't trick it. So the gamification, I understand. Any, to get you to go work out, anything outside of the gamification, why are you doing that? So I would encourage Dear Anonymous to have a, chat at the front end of the relationship. Why are you doing this? What, what are you getting out of all of this health data you're getting? So what if you are close to the right answer? You said she's tracking her own activity during sex. What if, what if, what if she's tracking his performance? That would be amazing. Uh, but once again, how is tech going to help at all? Like, where I feel this is the thing, right? We've eroded human beings or Western human beings have eroded our sense of direction almost entirely because we stare at the blue dot on a phone moving on a digital map, right? We no longer have any sense of direction, which this has been scientifically studied. Like direction in humans is disappearing. It's getting evolved out. Uh, if you're going to evolve out your own kind of sixth sense on what makes someone a good lover or not, because you're going to rely on Garmin's <laughs> advice about it, then what are you doing to yourself? That is so true. Like instead of being present in the moment and deciphering my level of pleasure, yes, I'm going to check how fast my heart was beating and for how long of a period of time to tell me that I liked the experience. Exactly. How much oxygen w w like was I getting during that time or how much was I, how hard was I breathing? All of this <laughs> kind of stuff. Okay, great. You get a B plus sir or whatever, like without that, that's what you need. You can't even appreciate it in the moment. Which also implies to her lover, the writer I had other data last week that was an A or a yeah. C and you're just one of many that I'm tracking in comparison with another to plot onto a map to decide who I proceed with. All of it is problematic, I will yeah, say. And again, she might have a uh, answer. She might have a reason. Hey, yeah, I'm really whatever. I don't know. That's the thing. I have no idea what a proper reason could be why you're so fixated on tracking your biometric data, unless you have a major disease. Or she's in a profession that I don't know what profession would wear that watch. That's Maybe she's saying. a marathoner or an air, you know, something like that. The only, the only profession I feel that needs to wear that watch is podcasters who are talking about that watch or device because they are getting paid to do so. So I think we're on the same page with this one. I agree. It's all pointing towards this might not be a good thing for this dude. But I also like your idea of having an upfront conversation. And I would advise to approach it from a funny standpoint, like a humorous sure. standpoint, like enter with exactly how he brought it up to us is like, hey, man, or not, hey, man, but I've never seen anybody wear a watch naked before. What's that about? Kind of a thing, you know, because if she can see the humor in it too, then that means you guys are compatible in that way. And the detail is almost irrelevant of her wearing a watch, but the fact that it was silly and you can bring it up to her and she can laugh about it is a great thing. Also, if you ask her and say, why are you doing this? Why are you like freely giving your biometric data to companies just so you can see how, you know, how hard your heart's beating or how fast it's beating? 
uh, and maybe she could think if she had like somebody who can realize the error of their ways, if she's like, Oh, you know, now yeah. that you, I got caught up in this trend, I'm taking this thing off. I'm replacing it with a VAR that doesn't actually track my biometric data, either that, or if she is, uh, wildly persuasive, that's also a great, uh, attribute in somebody. If she says, you know why? X, Y, Z. And then if anonymous thinks, well, I'm going to go get a Garmin too. And guess what's staying on? Even when I'm naked, my Garmin. Good advice. I think we solved it. Congratulations. Hope we could help. And uh, yeah, Vayer watches. Thank you very much for supporting the work, man. But also I think we do definitely need a follow-up from anonymous. I need you to go ahead and ask her what the deal was. And I, cause I need to understand what the deal is. I'm very curious too. Do you sleep with your watch on? Yes, I do. Uh, I sleep with my watch on. That's odd. I sometimes take it off for intimacy. I sometimes leave it on. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I've, I, it's one of the first things I take off when I enter the bedroom. It's like a routine, you know, put the phone on the charger, take the watch off. I really love the, I've always loved watches. Like, I mean, when I was a little kid, I would put band-aids on my wrist or a band-aid and draw a watch face on it. Uh, always loved a watch. So I think maybe this is just a personal tick with me. I remember, um, I don't know if it was a Seinfeld thing, but like socks on while having sex yeah, was, that a was a similar was it? Okay. Thing, thing. But th that one, I think I will go a straight up red flag on that. I'm going to go massive red flag on socks on. That means there's big time lurking insecurity issues uh either that or poor circulation which is going to lead to an early death and or a lot of hospital stays i'd say socks on during sex steer far clear there's also i mean just from a purely aesthetic standpoint in both scenarios the socks on whether you're male or female and then also the watch on when i'm envisioning this female that he's talking about with soft lighting, it's kind of dark. You got the curves of the skin. The watch is really wildly out of place aesthetically. If it's, I mean, if it's one of those, like I could totally like a dainty, you know, Rolex or uh, a, you know, smaller Omega, like a fat, like a, a good high end quality. Uh, what am I talking about? Does Vayer make a female watch? That's a great question. They should. I've looked they into don't. it. Yeah, yeah, they definitely should. A, a nice dainty there. Then I'd be like, ooh, look at that. It's just like, yeah, it goes. It's jewelry at that point. Yeah.